Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about cardiovascular disease, heart attack, and stroke, and the two supplements that are shown in studies to help improve or prevent heart attack stroke. Now, these two supplements are meant to be used as a broad-based uh, recommendation. It's not an individualized recommendation, much like what we would do if you came into our office. In our office, we would do workup, we would do maybe a calcium, uh, coronary calcium score, homocysteine, lipid panels, and all the other things to make modifiable changes. However, what we're talking about today is just some meta-analysis of multiple participants over multiple studies that show effectiveness in terms of reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke. So let's get right into it. Heart attack stroke, two supplements. This is based on a meta-analysis, meta which means it's taking a lot of different studies and a lot of different participants and doing the analysis of those studies. So what they uh, concluded was preventable benefits from folic acid and B vitamins for stroke has been graded with moderate quality. So B complexes, reduce stroke risk by 10%. Folic acid reduces cardiovascular risk by 17%. Folic acid reduces stroke risk by 21%. So these are actually pretty good numbers considering you're just using a, uh, a type of supplement to help reduce cardiovascular risk. It's not talking about diet, it's not talking about sleep, it's not talking about stress, we're just talking about one supplement, okay? The other supplement is fish oils. So they did a meta-analysis over 40 studies with over 134,000 participants. The results of that study shows uh, EPA DHA or fish oil is an effective lifestyle strategy for cardiovascular disease prevention and the protective effects probably increases with dosage. What that means is that the higher the dose of fish oils that you take, the more benefits you can reap from it. So higher doses seem to be better in terms of reducing cardiovascular risk. Now you remember, cardiovascular uh, disease remains the leading cause of death worldwide. The problem with cardiovascular injuries or cardiovascular deaths, like heart attack and stroke, oftentimes there is no symptoms until you actually get a stroke or a heart attack. So one day this person who's healthy, eating well, doing everything right, um, sleeping well, at 50 years old dies of a heart attack or, die, or gets a stroke, right? Why would that happen, right? It's because there were things that were leading up to that moment which is unrecognized. You don't really notice that you have high blood pressure. You don't notice that you have plaquing in your arteries. There's really no symptoms until you get to the point where you have a cardiac, cardiovascular injury or stroke, okay? So it's a leading cause of death. So fish oil, the reason it has the benefits for cardiovascular protection is that fish oil reduces inflammation, reduces platelet aggregation. What that means is that prevents clotting, decreases blood pressure as an antioxidant effect. It protects the endothelium of the vessels of the, of the arteries and decreases triglycerides. So it has a multifold effect on how it works. Now I know there are studies more recently that show that there are a very small percentage of people who may have AFib related to fish oil intake or higher doses of fish oil intake. However, based on those studies, it seems like they used more of the pharmaceutical ethyl ester, ester form of uh, the fish oil rather than the natural triglyceride form of fish oil. So if you have a cardiac condition, if you have cardiovascular disease history or the history of AFib in the family or in yourself, I would talk to your physician or cardiologist before taking high doses of fish oil, okay? So those two supplements basically folic acid or B vitamins and fish oil. In terms of folic acid, I prefer uh, a methylated folate 
um, that would be probably better absorbed uh, into our system. So a methylfolate and then fish oil has some problems with being more uh, rancid or the quality control or heavy metals. Um, if you can get a, a good company that produces fish oil and tests for heavy metals and, and produces high quality fish oil, uh, you should reap the benefits of taking fish oil. All right. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.